Hey everyone, Red here, and welcome back to another Red's Requested, and today we have the Super Slugger Ghostface build, so let's go ahead and quickly break it down. First, we're bringing in a Lethal Pursuer, this allows us to see the aura of all survivors at the start of the trial, and anytime we see a survivor's aura, its duration is going to be increased by 2 seconds. Second, we have our Star Perk Knockout, survivors that are put into the dying state by a basic attack are not going to be revealed to other survivors when they are standing outside of a 16 meter range, they're also going to crawl 50% slower and the recovery speed will be reduced during this time they'll also be inflicted with the blindness status effect third we're bringing in i'm all ears anytime a survivor performs a rushed action within 48 meters of our position they'll have their aura revealed for six seconds this does have a 40 second cooldown and last but not least is a tinkerer whenever a generator is repaired to 70 percent progress it will trigger a loud noise notification and will be granted the undetectable status effect for 16 seconds and moving to our add-ons we have our requested outdoor security camera which means the aura of all survivors are revealed to us whenever a marked survivor is put into the dying state, and we have Ghost Face Caught on Tape. This will instantly recharge Night Shroud after a successful base attack that puts a survivor into the dying state. Overall, you guys all know I enjoy a good slug build, so this should be a lot of fun. If you want to see a build on the channel, make sure to comment it down below, and you never know, I might just check it out on the channel. Make sure to like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Now let's go ahead and get to the gameplay. Alright, and game number one is on Garden of Pain, so this should be a lot of fun. Thankfully, Lethal gives us a little bit of information. I only see these two at the moment. Do we have anyone else, though? Oh, okay, yeah, we do have someone else. Cool. Let's see if we maybe get a good little stock. We don't have any regressions. So we got to get a lot of good value here out of Knockout. I want to get a little bit better of an angle here. Maybe? Still not really. Feels bad. There we go. Completely unaware at the moment. She does have a power to play with, though. Hopefully we can get her before... Oh, no. She ran into something. I don't think she made it anyways because of the way she dropped pallet. Oh, here we are. Hi there. This is where we start the value of knockout. I'm all ears. Giving us good information as well. We also have one who's upstairs. We gotta keep that in mind. Yeah, they're still working on it. Cool. Let's get up here, see if maybe we can get a nice little peek. Oh, thank you. That was brave. And that was a horrible idea. We got one person being healed up over here, and the other has distortion. So only one distortion gamer is pretty good. Ooh, unfortunate. There we go. We're already in a really good spot. We got everybody injured. Two survivors down. Oh, I guess suck. Hurt me a little bit, but we're also going to be able to get some pallets out of the way here. But she just keeps holding it forward, so this works even better for me. Come on. Ah, darn. Not a big deal. It's a good time to hook up now that we have everyone injured and down. We still do want to hook survivors just whenever we have enough pressure to do so. We're both over here. Oh, yeah. Peekaboo! Oh, and it looks like the survivor might be trying to kill themselves on hook. I expect this whenever you do like a knockout build or a slug build. You're definitely going to get a lot of people who uh, do not want to stay in the game. But they managed to save her. So you know what? Next time I see her, we'll leave her on the ground for a little bit. As if to give a second chance. Are we healing up there or not? I think the answer was yes. She's trying to uh, spot me, but she's too far away. Remember, with Ghostface, we can uh, stalk from 40 meters away. They can only reveal us at 32. Oh, hi there. Here she is again. I'm pretty sure she's done so. Or she's just really late, one or the other. Why don't we just go ahead and give her a little bit of a moment here. We'll give her that extra chance. Let me get, hopefully, her picked up. Or we'll end the game here because we have a nice little snowball going. Ah, oh, that's a real bummer. 
I was hoping to get a quick little tap there after we block the pallet, but whenever you stalk somebody, you become... Well, they can essentially walk through you. So behind us is also injured, but we'll take this. And where's everybody at? We're both over here. Okay. Get that stalk for later. Thank you. That way we can track a little bit more. Why not? Nice. Don't you point at me. Especially when you have five gens up still. I got a lot of pressure. I could actually hold it forward for quite a while here and be perfectly okay. Oh yeah, you messed up there. Whoo. Okay. Maybe resilience in play there. Not really a lot of other areas to go. They are healing up and picking people up though. So we give them a little bit of a back in here. There we are. I could take the time to hook here, but I don't really need to. I think I maybe get a nice little peek here. All right, let's see if we can get something. Oh, yeah. Great value there. There we go. And we save uh, Cheryl for later. Thank you. Nowhere to go here, so easy hold forward. I don't see the other survivor. Cool. Tons of stock value this game, for sure. Thank you very much. Where are we at? Over there, healing. Can I maybe end the game here? I mean, we can definitely get maybe a good little stock angle. We got her 9-9. Fang ran off to the left. Fang's had to run all the way probably around the map to feel safe to go for them. Should buy us time to go ahead and get Kate down here. I will hook her this time, though, if we down her. Just so we can kind of push this game along. Oh, yeah. No idea. And she knows. May look for a little bit more uh, stock value, though. See if they all sit down and heal here. Oh, they're trying to. There goes one, two, and three. Perfect. Okay, we got two over here. She's got a pallet. Where we go? All the way back in the corner? Yes, we did. Cool. And two survivors, one upstairs and one holding forward. Well, where's she going there? Did she hop in a locker? Yeah, she... Oh, wow. Lo big head on play. Oh, hello. Where's the last survivor? Oh, I'm going to get you. I'm only doing this because I see her. The 4K is really not too important to me, but if I see the last survivor and we can go for her, I'm definitely going to. I think you're in trouble here. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Now we got her. An extremely dominant first game, so let's go ahead and move on to the next. And game number two we have, well, the game. So, who do we got? Three survivors downstairs. It's something you don't normally expect. We have one distortion gamer this game as well. Heard someone hop maybe in a locker. We were here. What angle do we take? Right here? No, but we have someone downstairs working on that gen. See if maybe I can get a quick peek. Not from this angle. I don't know I'm here just yet, though. How about here? Oh, we're on the inside, aren't we? Hi there. Well, you know, no need to slug in this situation. But I'll take ourselves a nice little gen pull. The biggest downside is because we don't get a uh, stock down there, or like an exposed down, we don't get the uh, information we would like to have. But it's a small map, so we already have another survivor on gen. They're going to start moving away probably pretty quick. Oh, yeah. Well, someone else was here, or they ran to it. Nice. How are you playing this tile here, Fang? I want to try and hug this as tight as I can. I don't know if she actually makes it here. It'll be close. No, I don't think so. Nice. 
Now this is a good time for us to hopefully get some value here. Oh man. Oh no. I'll take two. You'll love to see it. Two little gen pulls in a game. We can get this regressing with some base regression. They'll have to go for the survivor that's slugged, but they are in a corner over here. The downside is whenever they go for the save, they'll probably be able to see Fang here. Ooh, we have someone here, though. I'll take that. Do you think he was running over to the save? Oh, no. My guy was just brutally tracked down on that one through the blind. It's kind of the risk you run whenever you blind a uh, killer. Is that you don't necessarily get the same amount of distance as if you were just to run. And just barely. Awesome. They did get healed up. I haven't seen one of the survivors all game yet. But there goes Tinkerer. Where are we at? Yeah, that's the gem we got the pole at. So they're probably going to be able to get that before I can actually get here. Yeah, there's two survivors on that. I guess to deal for a little bit of a hit here. So close. If I had gotten it about maybe 50%, I probably could have kept it, but that's all right. Ooh. Yeah, I gave it away a little too, too much there. Still holding it forward. And we got a survivor working on the gen back there. That works for me. There we go. She hugged that much better. Can I maybe snag this? Ooh. Oh, well. We'll go ahead and break it. We might have to break Chase here. We'll see, though. We really don't want to be stuck on Chase's for too long. Ah, yeah. Fair enough. Get a little bit more hit and run out real quick. Two survivors over here. Strong tiles. We don't really want to play around. But Fang brought herself out of a safe area. Hey. You guys both working on this? Hi there. Oh no. Got it. Nice. That's gotta feel really bad. Ooh, another tinkerer. Nice. We got two survivors over here. The survivor won't expect me though, and everyone's injured, so we should be good. Nice. That's two. We can kick this, get it regressing, and then we know where the other two are at right now because they're healing up. No way they can get both heals. There she is. Let's just keep that for later. In case she does get healed up. And there he is. Perfect. Ah, he did, he did see me, didn't he? Come on. Nice. Got just in time. How we want to play this? Okay. There we go. Ooh, nice. Wait, was that actually balance landing? I can't tell. I did expect him to go for the vault, though. They're still rebounding, so we're good here. Okay, where are we at? I don't want to chase for too long because he is dead. Yeah. And while it looks we have like a lot of gens still up, remember we have like two tinkers that are probably not too long ago. So we're closer to two gens. Easy peasy. Oh, here we are. Object of obsession, right? Unless you fast vaulted something. No, I would have known. There we go. Hi there. Oh, life. Okay. We're going to try and play this. Oh, wow. Really nice. And there goes object. You never see one running anymore. Got you that time. And we're both healing up over here. Can we maybe get, go for an end? 
Come on. Oh, she couldn't break me out. That's great. Thank you, and only one more to put away this game. There we go. Oh, wow. We actually had a Kobe. But where are we going? We can just track her from underneath. Maybe to the save. There is a drop down here. And there it is. No! Overall, this build is a lot of fun. Definitely try it out in your games if you enjoy knockout and slug builds. Much love, everyone. And until next time, I am Red and I am signing off. Aren't you just gonna take that? Hope that you fucking fight back.